Hi everyone, welcome to a new Begijnhoeven special. This time we're going to do a how to ride a young horse because we got many comments down below that people ask us uh, how we should do things with a young horse. Uh, so I'm trying to explain you in this video. Uh, of course, every young horse is different. Every horse is different. So you have to uh, approach every horse in a different way. And of course, this is my opinion because you have many ways of uh, trying to ride a young horse. So in our vision here, uh, three things in riding a young horse are very important. First one, if you're not able to do a decent warm-up as uh, Tommy explained you in the, in the last how-to, um, try to do the warm-up on the launch because uh, your young horse is not so strong yet in the back or in his abs. Um, so uh, you have a weight, uh, of course, as a rider and you sit on the back. So it's very important that the horse gets a good warm-up and that you then start with your training. Second one is when you ride on the young horse, make sure you have the gas and the brake. <laughs> very easy. He should go forward and he should stop. That's kind of necessary, of course. Uh, without helping the horse. Many horses only think forwards or horses only think backwards. So for the, with a young horse it's very important you should go forward and you should go backwards. That's, that's kind of necessary just without helping uh, all the time. So just uh, sit still and he should go forward, make an aid that he will stop and uh, that's very important as well. Third one, that you can steer your horse. Very good. Um, always steer his shoulder, so if you want to go uh, left or right, steer his shoulder, so you need your outside rein. Uh, and you have to teach your young horse that he can steer on your outside rein. So the young horse of today uh, will be Le Premier. Le Premier is a four-year-old stallion, a millennium stallion, he's approved. Uh, it's, a, it's a very good horse, but also he has his difficulties, of course, because he's a young horse and he's still growing and he's a little bit uh, high in the hindquarters at the moment because the horse grows a bit, little bit like this, a little bit uh, uneven, never like this. Uh, so he has some troubles with the self-carriage and of course he lacks power still. I mean, his back needs to get stronger and his abs need to get stronger. So I'm going to show you uh, how we try to make him stronger at this point. So here is Le Premier, um, I'm going to launch him now for a bit, uh, normally I don't do it anymore because now he is four and a half and I can do a normal warm up, but I can show you how uh, we normally do it with a young horse uh, where the warm up is not good enough. I always just put the reins behind the stirrups, so nothing special. And what's very important with a young horse that he is working now under your condition. When you settle the horse, it already starts that you are in the lead with him, especially with a stallion like him. Uh, it already starts when you start lunging as well. I put the head uh, very loose, the, the reins, uh, but now step one is that he walks away. So don't make him canter or whatever that he's like uh, uh, that he takes off like a rocket or something, just make him walk away. Stop. It's very good. Yeah, walk. You see, so it's very important that he is now uh, going forward under your, your condition because it's the same under saddle here. That's wrong. Walk. It's the same under saddle as on the launch. He has to listen to you, of course. Yeah, nee, walk. You see, he wants to go forward and I say, no, stay. Stop. Well done. And now he can trot. Draf. Nee, draf. Well done. No, trot. Well done. So now he's just warming up under my condition. So he already knows he has to listen to me. He's kind of fresh. So maybe I'm happy I'm lunging him. <laughs> Good. 
So, and just make him a little looser every time that he can go on the big circle. Good. Good so. Okay, now you can canter. Galop. Well done. He listened really well, actually. That's not always normal, but okay. <laughs> That's very good. Good. Well done. And you can go to trot again. Oh, he only hears Dutch, I guess. Traf. Oh. You see, he's only learning Dutch. <laughs> good so. So this is good. Then we can go the other way around. Oh. Also very important now, he has to come to me. Don't go to him, but he has to listen to you. But he has to come to you. There you go. It's also the same that you're in the lead. Well done. Stop. Stop. So on the right side, we do the same. He walks away first. Ah, 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 ah. No. That was not good. Walk. Well done. Good. Good. No, that was not what I wanted. Walk. Oh. And go. Okay, that's good. Now we can go to trot. Traf. No. Trot. Oh, well done. Now see if he finds his rhythm again and just make a very easy warm up. Well done. Good. I don't look at his head position at all. I really don't care. It's just no. Whee! He's fresh again. Trot. Well done. I don't care about the, his position of the head. It's just that I want to make him active and that he's listening to me. Good, so. Well done. So this is good. Now he can go to canter. Galop. Galop. You go, oh, no, that's not what I wanted. He has to do it in a normal way. Trot, well done. And galop. Better. You, you see, that was very good. It was without tension and it just went to the canter really loosely. Good. Good. Well, I'm happy for the warm-up on the launch. And... Ooh. Come to me. Come to me. So when you mount a young horse, it's not always possible to start with a walk. Sometimes it's better that you keep on trotting or that you start trotting immediately because uh, your horse is a little bit too fresh. You already see that he's reacting to my aids so that I don't have to push him when he's walking. So I can just do nothing. And when I give leg, he needs to walk more actively. But that's okay, and he already did a little bit of warm up, so I start trotting. Whee! So at first when you trot, uh, your horse is not really straight. Now he's a little bit falling to the left. But you know, whatever. At first I just want to make sure that I can have a steering wheel. So when I go right, I steer with my left rein and he goes right. When I go left, 
I steer at my right lane rein and the shoulder goes left. So you see the head position is not bending. I just want to make sure that I can steer his shoulders. I make little corners all the time. Here, make a corner again. Actually pretty good. Make a corner again. And it's good. And you feel when he's not hanging to your outside rein anymore, I stop with the curve. So now I go straight again. He wants to go right. He is a little bit hanging on the left, so I'll keep on going, keep going, keep going. Now it's good. Now I go straight. Go right again. Keep going, keep going. And now he's not hanging on the left rein anymore, so I go straight again. And while I'm doing this, Le Premier is getting more straight and you see that he's getting more active. So I really don't have to do much. So it's really good. So when this is good enough, I think I should go to canter. With this horse, sometimes I feel that he's not really thinking forward. So what I do then, especially in canter, so I give leg. There you go. You see now he's thinking forward without me needing to help him. More forward. So this improves the canter. And now he learns that I don't have to do anything and that he still needs to keep going forward. Well done. Go to trot again. Ooh. Trot. Ooh. Well done. Change rain. Oh, he's hanging to the right rein again. So steer, 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 steer. Yes, now it's good. And we keep going. Well done. Steer to the right, left again. Now it's good again. Oh, again. Yeah, now he's straight and we go to canter. Well done. And again, think forward, think forward. Don't hold his head. He's still holding back a little bit. Well done, horse. Now he's thinking forward. And now it's a little bit the same. He's hanging on the right rein. So I'm going to steer to the left. Steer, steer. Here. Now it's loose. Well done. Oh, he's hanging on the right again. Steer, 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 steer. He's loose and we keep on forward. Well done. This actually, I think this is pretty good for a young horse. Yeah, the self carriage is pretty good already. I don't have any pressure on the reins and he's really thinking forward. Now see if he wants to go back. So let's go to trot. Oh, drop. Oh, well done. And now I'm going to walk a little bit because it's a young horse. And of course, his muscles are not there yet or not as, uh, as a grown up. So you see he's a little bit out of breath. He's pumping a little bit. You see it on his, uh, in his nose. So now I'm going to make him walk and just uh, make sure that he's uh, recovering again. Um, this was pretty good. For a three-year-old, for me, it wouldn't be good enough already, so I would stop. Um, with a four-year-old, it's different because now he's four and a half now. So I'm gonna pick up and make him a little bit stronger with transitions. Maybe you saw uh, the how-to video of Tommy about transitions. Also with the young horse, it's very important because then he's going to be better on the eights and he's getting stronger and stronger. And he has to react immediately, so he also has to listen. So I pick him up a little bit, just a little bit. And also in walk, he has to be straight. You see, now he's hanging on my right rein again. Turn, turn, turn. Now he's straight. What I want now is that he's going to react when going to trot. That's a little slow. 
which is normal. And he's not straight now. Well done. Now he's straight and we go back to walk. Oh, well done, horse. And we go to trot. Much better for a young horse. Make him straight again by steering. Yeah, straight. Well done. One, two, one, two. Very good rhythm. And we go to walk again. Hoop, hoop, hoop. That's not a really nice transition, but okay. You see he's now falling a little bit, so maybe I should make a transition. Hoop. Not a great transition again. He's a little bit chewy. Now it's getting better. And I made him go to trot. Much better. Oh, that's not what I meant. I meant trot. There you go. You see that I always stay a little bit relaxed because when you're on a young horse, front, okay, you should do this, you should do that. Uh, things are not going really well. So you just sit, relax, and just ride. Oh, here, that's not good again. Oh, trot. And just have fun. <laughs> And that's very difficult because many times you get too uh, enthusiastic or whatever. You you have not so much uh, energy this day, or you not have do not have patience. But still, you need to sit loosely on the horse and just let it be a little bit. There, it's good. And make the trot. That's a very nice transition. Come. Okay, I think I did a lot of transitions, uh, walk, trot. So now we do a little canter trot. Oh, he's not straight. You see, he's falling to the left. So make him straight, make him straight, straight. Now he's straight and we go forward. Well done. Here's not straight. Now make the corner. Yes, he's straight. Whee! I think this is a very good canter. Okay, well done. We go to trot again. Oh, oh, oh trot. You think it's difficult? Just keep on going, whatever. Well done. If I would pull on the rein, he would not listen to me, I think. So just sit on the horse loosely and just ask gently, go to trot, go to trot. Repeat till he does it. More time. And while I'm doing this, I get a better, I get a better and better connection. So he's getting more straight. And I get an even connection on both reins. I'll go to trot again. Ooh, yes, well done. Okay, I have a walk break again. Well done. I think he did really well. I always make his head a bit low to stretch his back. Sometimes it's not possible to do this with a three-year-old, but I think it's important that you learn horses to lengthen the neck at the end of your training, just as a good cooling down. Well done. Okay, we can go to walk. Oops. So it's very important you do this walk breaks. Because now for me, I had to think about it as well, because then I go left and you're riding and you're, you're like, oh, it's going really well. But still always keep in mind, this is a young horse and this horse needs to recover. So uh, do enough walk breaks. Uh, in that way, he will gain strength way faster. You won't get injuries. And uh, yeah, everything is, go is going much faster anyway. 
So I was really happy with this training today. I hope it was useful for you. Um, you see, it's very important, the first three things I told you, and it's especially it's the combination. So the combination of the three points, um, it's very important that, you, that, this, that he's listening to all three of them, and then it's going really well, I think. Um, if you want to know more, um, let us know something in the comments, and if you like this video, leave the thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe.